because that's where most people start in our curriculums in school. But understand that with Mortensen Mathematics, all you need is the ability to count to nine, identify a rectangle, and understand whether something is same or different or not. And we can start anywhere in problem solving, subtraction, multiplication, division, or addition. It doesn't matter. But we play games, many, many games. One of the games is called having a party. And we can start, of course, with the lower numbers, but because of time constraints, we're going to start with nine. So, of course, we've been playing with numbers. We've been playing building fives and sixes and sevens. And now we're going to play building nines. So, here is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I want to build a nine, I need to start off with something here for the children. And we're going to say, this is an eight. What does eight need to be a nine? Or if nine was having a party and eight wanted to go, uh, who would he have to take? Well, it's visually obvious. And a seven wanted to go. And little kids enjoy this. If seven wanted to go, well, I have to bring a two. And of course, if six wants to go to nine's party, needs a three. Now all this is, numbers are made up of other numbers. We can build eights and sevens and sixes. We can build fives and fours. Fours are pretty bo boring to build. Uh, we can build threes, which are really boring. We can build twos, which are really, really boring because the only way you can build a two is with two ones. But for little children, when they're first discovering this, it's a ton of fun. And we play many, many other games to bring this concept home. Now, eight needs a one, seven needs a two, six needs a three, and the last one, of course, five needs a four. Now, the reason why we spend so much time on this is be because it is crucially important that children understand that numbers are made up of other numbers.